where you would want to be most careful with your belongings. Hola from El Salvador. I landed here last night. The process is actually quite easy and it didn't take a lot of time to come out of the airport. I would do some money, which was also quite easy. There were a lot of different ADMs there. Um, although I would recommend check getting the money out much later because all the banks in the beginning were charging quite a lot of um, transaction fees. So I sat on a taxi and I came directly to Playa Altunco. The first sunset I got in Playa Altunco was incredible. Really heartwarming how amazing the welcome is. I'm gonna walk around Playa Altunco and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this place. Um, so this is like a beach village per se, and it's about 50 minutes drive from the airport. And it's a gated community. It's also called the Surf City of Playa Altunco. It's really popular with the surfers. You can get your equipment, your classes, everything here. Um, you're, you're spoiled for choice. There's also a lot of good spots for food and just, you know, just chilling at the beach. Although they do have like a stony beach with like, which gives way to the black beach afterwards. The sunsets are amazing, but this is not real El Salvador. This is kind of like the touristy version. It's full of, you know, those you know, new age wellness places where you have like yoga and ASI bowls and smoothies and you know, all of that. So it is obviously a bit more expensive because of that, a lot more expensive because of that. But it's a good spot if you wanna, you know, come chill out at the beach for a bit, maybe even get some surfing lessons. Just walking around the town, which I will show you, is also a good idea. And the best part for me that has been so far are the sunsets. Absolutely incredible. The beach at Playa Altunco is the perfect spot to nurse that jet lag. And did I mention it has great sunsets? Another beautiful day ends at Playa Altunco and tomorrow we're going on a little adventure. I am in Cascada Tamanique or the Tamanique Waterfalls. I'm no longer hungover. I really hope so. So it took us about 30 minutes to get here. You can only come here by a tour. There's no public transport. Or you can just drive here yourself. And then it was about, after the 30 minutes drive, about 15, 20 minutes hike down. And we are here now. Gonna spend some time in the beautiful, clean water. Sorry, I forgot to tell you, you do need to bring your swimwear, maybe a towel, some slippers and good shoes because the hike is a little tricky, but the rest of it is amazing and the water is really great. And there's another, the top part of the waterfall and then you walk a little bit and then you go further down and it is stunning, I love it. I ended up spending almost half a day there. The water was really nice and it was just so great to be in nature. But it's time to head to San Salvador now. The apartment I stayed in in San Salvador had the most amazing view and the cutest Christmas decorations.
For my first day in San Salvador, I headed to the Boqueron Park. But before climbing that volcano, I got some great lunch with an even more amazing view. Let me show you. This behind me is Lake Elopango, and that is the volcano. And if you go a bit further to this side, and you look all the way over there, that is the Pacific Ocean. And this mountain, you can see from the city. So it's a great spot to come to have a good lunch with a view. Going up now to see the volcano. It was quite cloudy and misty, so I couldn't really see much down there, but it was still nice to come and the park is really beautiful as well. So going back down, um, because it's a little cloudy today, so instead of spending a lot of time um, looking at a place that I can't really see properly, We're just gonna stop here for a few minutes to appreciate the beauties that these are. You drink this every morning if you drink coffee. These are the coffee beans. And El Salvador has some good coffee and chocolate boats. If you like that, you're in luck. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of plantations that organize tours here. I'm gonna head back down to the city to see more of San Salvador. Buenos dias from San Salvador. It's another gorgeous day and this time I am in the historic center. By the way, this is also the area where you would want to be most careful with your belongings. All right, so I've had my breakfast and it's time to explore the cathedral and the National Theater. And then just walk around, honestly, there's, there's like some museums here, but I'm not a big fan of museums. So I'm just gonna walk around, explore the architecture and what it is like. Again, be careful. The Metropolitan Cathedral of San Salvador is a spiritual center of El Salvador, essentially. And its most prominent visitors include popes, as well as Barack Obama. Grand as it is, I really enjoyed the beautiful dome in the middle, which has a very soothing blue. And it is rather simple and not overly decorated. Sorry, slight correction. That's the building I showed you opposite Cathedral. That's not the National Theatre. This is the National Theatre. This is an area which you can only explore by getting lost in it. There are so many cute little surprises as well as a lot of street food. The best surprise so far in the historic center is this church behind me. I don't know what that is but I really like it. It's my kind of building. Look! I found out later that the building I was referring to is actually El Rosario Church. So the center of the city is actually quite a busy place. There's a market where obviously, like any good market, you can buy anything and everything. And it's just fun to just walk around. One thing that I found really interesting here is people selling drugs, not those kind. Like, you know, the pharmacy drugs like antibiotics and painkillers on these little carts. And they're just going around and you can just buy yourself some. Interesting, never seen that before. But yeah, I am, it's quite hot. So I'm gonna get some lunch, but at a good spot. So let's go, I have a surprise for you today. Oh, hello, hello, Pango. I love how every single lunch could be, you know, a lunch with view in San Salvador. So I have come to this really cute place called La Petite Chef and it has amazing views and it's the cutest little place. Let me show you. In 
all honesty, the food was pretty mediocre, but the view totally made up for it. This is Lake Ilopango. Look how beautiful this place is. While the lake is really beautiful, it's not very accessible on this side, unfortunately. So I couldn't go all the way down to the beach because the road was really bad, if you can call it that. It's more like a dirt track, right? And even with the 4x4 drive, we still got stuck and someone had to come sort of rescue us. So yeah, that was the adventure of the day. So if you're going to Lopango, I would recommend doing the other side, which has more beaches and more public access. I'm gonna head back to the town, get some dinner and freshen up and tomorrow we go on another epic adventure. One that I'm really, really, really excited about. So it's time to explore some of the best views of San Salvador through the Devil's Door. So I'm heading there now. Um, let's see if it actually lives up to its hype. I just got to the first viewpoint and look who do I have behind me. So cute. I'm at the first mirador or the first viewpoint and you can see all of San Salvador from here, including Lake Ilapango right here. It's actually going to be a big regret for me that I actually never made it to the lake despite seeing it from so many places. Oh well, I think I'll, I'll make do with that when I go to Coatepeque. So I came all the way up but sadly Puerto del Diablo is closed. They are doing some construction. I'm pretty sure they're making it into like, you know, in a paid entry type place. So I don't know when that's gonna open, but all is not lost because I came a little bit further. There's this cute cafe with this view of three volcanoes. Look at that. I mean, this is what you like about El Salvador. They're just, you're never far from a volcano. So yeah, I'm gonna spend some time here and yeah, enjoy the view beautiful place and this behind me is the village of Panchimalco so if you get the chance do go there it's really beautiful as well that's what I've been told and apparently they have some good restaurants as well so yeah it's up to you this is horchata a drink that you must try the view is optional A really beautiful place and I ended up spending pretty much the whole afternoon there just looking at that gorgeous view and on the way back got to see an amazing sunset. I think that all made for missing Puerto del Diablo, don't you think? Since it was my last day in San Salvador, I decided to visit a spa and it was right next door. I had a really great time. If you want to check the full video that I made about the spa, check the link above. I have just started this beautiful journey in El Salvador. Next time I'm taking you to Hikulisco Bay and Conchagua Volcano, which I think is the most underrated and most beautiful place in the entire country. Click above and join me there. This is Brown Boy Travels. I really hope you like this video. Please do let me know in comment section. Please do like, subscribe and share. And I will meet you at another destination in the next video. You have a beautiful day ahead. Bye.